for the thermodynamic functions u hags, u, h, a, g, and s, which stands for internal energy, enthalpy, Helmholtz free energy, Gibbs free energy, and entropy respectively, there is a mnemonic device that you can use to remember their natural variables and their Maxwell equations. First, memorize this phrase. Good professors have studied under very awesome teachers. Then draw a box. In the box, write the first letter of each word, starting with the very top, and then continuing clockwise into each corner and every side like this, G, P, H, S, U, V, A, T. If your textbook uses F instead of A for Helmholtz, then you can replace the word awesome with another adjective such as fine. On this diagram, I'm going to replace the natural variables with another color to make it easier to see. To figure out the natural variables for a particular thermodynamic function, look at the two variables that are next to the function. For example, Gibbs free energy is surrounded by temperature and pressure, making both temperature and pressure the natural variables for Gibbs free energy. To begin, draw an arrow from left to right. Though in reality you can begin anywhere. Left to right, right to left, down to up or up to down. The area where you end up though is the Maxwell equation set for the thermodynamic function. In this case, arbitrarily, I started left to right for top and bottom which means that I'll be solving for enthalpy's Maxwell equations. The Maxwell equation will be the partial derivative of where you started divided by the partial derivative of where you ended for the first variable set. In this case, the partial derivative of temperature divided by the partial derivative of pressure. But what is held constant? To answer that question, look diagonally across from where you began. We began with temperature, so temperature is going to be, or sorry, entropy will be what will be held constant here. Looking at the other arrow, this will be equal to partial V divided by partial S. And since we started with V across from V, we have pressure, which is held constant. To determine if something needs a negative sign, look at S and P for entropy and pressure. When they are on the same side at all, it needs a negative sign. I see P and S for both sides, so both get a negative. But of course, two negatives will cancel out. That is a rule that is so important, I will add it to the top. As such, for enthalpy, H, this is the Maxwell equation set. Let's try another one. In this case, I'm going down on both sides. You will always go the same direction on opposite sides of the square or rectangle. In this case, I have the partial t divided by the partial v. And since I started with t, I look opposite of t and s is held constant. That is equal to partial P divided by partial S. Opposite of P, I have V, which is held constant. S and P are on the same side. Therefore, I do need a negative sign. The natural variables for internal energy would be V and S which means that these are the Maxwell equations for U, internal energy. Occasionally, some books use E.
If you want to focus on a particular thermodynamic function, point your arrows in that direction. If I want to do Gibbs free energy, I will do arrows up towards G and then crisscross towards G as well. This gives me my Maxwell equations of partial V over partial T hold P constant equals partial S over partial P hold T constant. If you look closely, I do have S and P together on the right side, which means that there is a negative symbol required. The rules of mathematics, of course, indicate that the negative symbol can go on either one, but not both. Remember to note what Maxwell equations you just solved for, which are the ones where you crossed upward and toward. In no particular order, we have done every Maxwell equation except for the one for Helmholtz free energy, which is A. Which means I need to point my arrows toward A on the top and the bottom, and then crisscross from where I started to the opposite side inside. This will give me my Maxwell equations of partial P over partial T hold V constant equals partial S over partial V hold T constant, which provides for me A, or the Helmholtz free energy Maxwell equations. A negative sign is not necessary here because this rule is not coming into play. Hopefully you notice the pattern where the bottom differential is going to be opposite of what's held constant on the outside of the parentheses. And for a particular thermodynamic function, that would be on opposite sides of the function of interest. For the Helmholtz free energy function, both T and V will switch places, so to speak, when taking the derivative and determining the exactness as indicated by the Maxwell equation.